Hey everybody, so today we're going to make a goat's milk, honey, and oat melt and pour soap. So your kit is going to include a little one ounce container of oats. You have a one ounce container of honey. Uh, you have one pound of melt and pour goat's milk, soap base. Uh, you're going to have a piece of bubble wrap which this is pretty exciting because we're going to lay this down in our soap box which you'll also receive. We're just going to stick this down in here so when we melt down our soap we can pour it in here and it's going to give the effect of it being a honeycomb which is always really cool and awesome. So give me a minute and I'm going to chop all this down and melt it and then we will add our honey and our oats to it for some exfoliating. Um, this is a really easy, fun recipe, and it feels wonderful on your skin. Again, like I said, uh, like I've said in previous videos, um, but I'll remind everybody, we're going to cut this down in little chunks. So let me get my, my handy dandy knife out here. So we're just going to take it and we're going to just cut it down. Into little cubes. We're going to use our measuring cup. We're just going to take these little cubes and drop them right in here. And we're going to microwave to melt everything down. You want to microwave in 30 second increments so that your soap does not um, bubble over. You want to check it every 30 minutes, or I'm sorry, 30 seconds, and stir it. Um, to make sure you're getting all of these cubes uh, melted down to a liquid consistency. So I am going to finish chopping these up and stick them in the microwave and be right back. Okay, I've got my melt and pour goat's milk melted down here now. I'm just giving it a couple little stirs to make sure there's no little chunks left in there. Um, we're going to go ahead and take our honey open that up and we're going to go ahead and pour that into our goat's milk. Try to get as much of it out of that little container as you can. So for this week's melt and pour soap we wanted to keep it as natural as possible. So we are not adding any type of fragrance. We're just doing the honey and then we're going to mix it all up and then we're going to go ahead and put the oats on the, the top so that'll give us a layer of um, oats on there for exfoliating. So, see I got this mixed up in here pretty good. So I'm going to kind of put this off to the side for a minute. Alright, your soap box. Once you have your soap box all done and put together, you want to take your bubble wrap, bubbles up, um, make sure the bubbles are up, but it's not going to give you the honeycomb effect. And you just want to spread it out into your box as well as you can. We're just going to take our melt and pour soap and just go ahead and pour it in here. Now you're not going to have perfect squares when this is done because it will be, um, you know, a little funky because of where the the bubbles are on here. As you can see, I'm going to have a big little a spot in there that's got a little bit of a lump. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to get the rest of this honey out of here. Alright, so from here what we're going to do is we're just going to try to spread that out a little bit if you can. If you can't, it's no big deal. I'm just going to take my honey or my oats here and I'm just going to let them lay on the surface, just sprinkle them around everywhere. And like I said, this will give you a nice exfoliant as you're using the soap. So there we have it. Um, I'm going to let it set up for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to move it into the freezer and it'll take about another 15-20 minutes and it'll be um, solid. We'll uh, unbox it and take it out and take it out of the bubble wrap so everybody can see how fun this soap is and all the little honeycomb effect it's going to give us. So I'll be back shortly. See you in just a few. 
Okay, everyone, so I've, after sticking this in the freezer, it still took about 45 minutes, um, which is quite a while. I think it's due to it being in the bubble wrap and in the box. So we're going to go ahead and, and try to go ahead and peel all this off. There might still be some on the bottom that isn't all the way solid, but that's okay. I just want to show you what you guys are, what it's going to look like. Alright, so I'm going to flip it over and we're going to have a big reveal. Yeah. So you can see a lot of the honey fell to the bottom, which is okay. But look at that, isn't that awesome? So you would just want to cut it down um, and make it into two blocks if you want. You can use a big giant one if you want. Whatever you'd like to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut mine down here. So I have two pretty good size. I might actually, I think I might just cut it again going lengthways. Um, it's gonna give me a smaller bar of soap, but that's okay, because um, it's pretty, pretty thick too. And there we have it. I got your oats on the bottom for your exfoliating. Kind of looks like honey on the top. Um, I love it. The soap is great for your skin, especially your face. Uh, so I want you guys to have fun, enjoy it, and be creative.